All right, fishy folks, the fish room is a little bit of a disaster, but we're gonna give you a tour of the whole thing. Let's first start with Chewy, my super red dragon flower horn, who's been uh, one week so far using this Excalibur food. And uh, <clears throat> he's a little darker than he was before, but uh, he's very lively. His cock is growing. <laughs> His cock is growing nice, and uh, he's alive. I mean, he's he's lively is really what I mean. I do have to tank so, take some of the stuff out of the, the tank. I don't really need it. I do need to figure out some filters for this tank, as well as for Chewy and Lay, sorry, Han and Leia's tank, my uh, <clears throat> uh, Red Tiger Oscar and Albino Red Tiger Oscar. Here's the problem. You can see all the poop on the bottom. Um, yeah, that it's kind of annoying because I only have sponge filters that need to be cleaned. Um, but that's all I have right now. So I'm, I'm considering getting a circulation pump and perhaps a hang on back or some other filter for this tank to help help keep the poop clean. See my mile high Pleco sticker from Mikey. Check out Mile High Plecos on Facebook. Of course, we have the uh, plushy Plecos from Super Cichlids right there. <coughs> Sorry, guys. We got all the food up here. My shelf is uh, hanging in there. It's a little hanging low on this side a little bit. Um, this food was sent to me from uh, uh, Aqua Craze. I haven't tried it yet. Endless Red. Um, I'm, I'm using exclusively Excalibur. And bloodworms every now and again um, for two weeks to see how Chewy grows and what he looks like. And of course, we got the Northfin kelp wafers uh, from Super Cichlids. You know, Super Cichlids is the only Northfin supplier that carries the entire line of Northfin products. I didn't know that. Pretty cool. Of course, we have the Ocean Nutrition stuff. I really like these flakes. Um, I also like, this is kind of, no, not those. I do like those, but <clears throat> these cichlid veggie, veggie pellets, I drop them in the pleco tanks and the plecos go, go crazy for them. All right, that's enough about food. Let's talk about some glass belly guppies, folks. Glass belly guppies. There's a scientific name for them. I just don't know what it is. If you do, leave it in the comments below. I started with maybe six or seven, and there's probably 30 or 40 in there now. S third or fourth batch of fry recently. Um, these will be going up on the website soon. I have enough now to sell and plenty of fry to grow out. And of course we have some long fin plecos in there. I think you can see that one right there in the middle of the screen. <coughs> Those are pretty sweet. These are half black uh, reds, females. There's no red on them and very little black on them, but uh, there's some fry in here already. I just got these guys in, these ladies in about two or three weeks ago, and there's already been one or two batches of fry dropped. These right now might be my favorite uh, guppies <coughs> in the uh, in the fish room. These are um, red mosaic dragons, but the, the ears, they're not considered dumbo ears because the ears aren't so big, but they're getting there. They're looking quite big. These guys are all on the website and they are for sale and I will be bringing them to the Keystone Clash. So if you're going and you want a pair or a trio, let me know and I'll I'll bring it special for you. Also, we have some albino bristlenose plecos growing out in here and uh, there's one eating on the filter. I don't know, there's maybe 20, 25 fry in here that are growing up nice. I will be bringing some of those for sale, not, not this batch, in another tank I'll show you later bringing those to the Keystone Clash and then we'll be going on the website soon. There's Bruce just chilling. I may be bringing Bruce to uh, the auction, not the auction, um, entering him into the into a contest. Not really sure. They say that usually they go to auction afterwards and I don't want to auction them off so I might not do that. <coughs> Oof, cloth is killing me guys. In this disaster of a tank, we have uh, some Calico Plecos, there's three or four of them, and a ton of snails. I just put some Assassin Snails in here, so we'll see what happens there. Um, no, there's a Pleco in the cave. Maybe we'll get some action there. 
is my L144 Lemon Blue Eye Plecos with a ton of fry. Uh, there's been at least two batches of fry and I did see uh, Plecos in three out of the four caves I have. There's a big male right there, you can see by the bristles. <clears throat> there's another male probably. Um, but there's fry all over the place. I also dropped some assassin snails in here. Hopefully that'll take care of most of these guys. Um, these babies, probably some of them will be going with me to the Clash to sell. So if you're interested, uh, let me know and uh, I can pre-sell them for you in case I decide not to bring them. All right, moving on. <coughs> Oof, sorry fellas and ladies. Here are the Red Mosaic Dumbo Ear. See how big his ears are compared to the other one. <clears throat> Got these guys off eBay from a breeder that had a ton of positive feedback and no negative feedback. And uh, no frying here yet. Um, I was told that the Dumbo Ears take longer to drop fry um, and they take longer to grow. So hopefully soon, we'll see. And there are some long fin chocolate plecos in here as well from uh, Mile High Plecos. <clears throat> this is a tank. I got this Java Moss from Green Oasis Farms. Just did a live stream yesterday, link in the description. Um, but I want to sell this moss at the Keystone Clash. Unfortunately, when you ship moss, it, and especially when it's hot, it doesn't always do well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell it. I might have to pick out some of this brown, which I don't have time for. But uh, <clears throat> I did put one pregnant uh, black panda pleco in here, and uh, she dropped fry um, like three or four days ago. One, two, three, four, five, sixty fry. So yeah. <clears throat> Up top we have an empty 20 long. Not sure what I'm doing with it. Um, there's no fish in there, but you can see the the moss is growing quite nice. One little tiny piece of moss. Here we have the jade heads. I saw somebody on eBay call these something wild. I have to get the picture back. Maybe we'll change the name to a, something wild, but they're just jade head mosaics. Um, I try to pull the males out and put them in a male guppy tank, but these guys, I haven't done it in about a week, so these guys must have just started showing colors. <clears throat> um, but I have that male guppy tank down there, which I'll show you in a minute. I just grow out males in there. Uh, so there's no cross contamination of strains and stuff. Here's another bed I have in the fish room. This might be going to uh, to the Clash of Cell. It's a solid, really deep dark red with great finish. Um, <clears throat> not sure, we'll see. There's a trio of, well, there's three. I don't know if it's a trio yet. I think they're all female bristlenose, albino bristlenose. Um, I got these from a different breeder. I, I think I got them from an auction, but I'm keeping them separate in case I want to mix the different plecos that I have, which I probably will eventually when they grow up. Uh, I didn't show you down low. So <clears throat> this tank is the uh, black panda tank. And um, I had an issue two weeks ago. I had two orders, one five pack of fry of black pandas and one uh, three females and one male. And I boxed them up on a Tuesday morning and I went to work Tuesday and I was super busy and forgot them in the car all day. And it was about 100 degrees outside. So it was probably 130 in the car. Needless to say, they didn't make it. Um, so I lost a bunch of guppies and then I, 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 you know, just sent them out earlier this week. So stock's a little low. Um, there is fry in there and there is fry in this tank. So <clears throat> I do have some to sell, but not that many. So if you're interested, make sure you, uh, you order them quick. And, uh, if you want them at the clash, let me know. You can prepay on the website for them and I will bring them. This is an interesting project of mine, and I say interesting because I don't remember what that female was. I think, I think she's a half black, but I'm not sure. I dropped her in here and she dropped fry right away. And I'm just letting the fry grow out, and then we'll see uh, what they look like, what the boys look like, because I gotta be honest, I don't remember. <clears throat> Guys, this is gonna be a long video, so if you need to go get some snacks or a beverage, you know how I am, I like the snacks and beverages, uh, you probably should go get it. Sorry about that camera bang. 
Maybe I'll edit that out, maybe I won't. Yeah, I'm gonna edit it out. So you'll see this is a blooper. Here's an all-male guppy tank. There's a... Uh, the red cobras are in there, the jade head mosaics are in there, and of course the black Moscow males are in there. And uh, basically I dump all the males in here, I feed the heck out of them, and just let them grow. And uh, let's say you buy some red cobras, I will grab a male out of this tank, and then I will grab a female out of this tank, look how big those females are. <clears throat> and as, like see there's a, a boy right there, I will pull him out soon, but that's, that boy was born in this tank and uh, just started to show some colors recently because I checked over the weekend and uh, there were no boys. So that's how I do it. I have uh, different tanks of uh, different females like these are red cobra guppies, these are cobra guppies, those are cobra guppies. <clears throat> Not, I forgot what those are, I gotta look and see but I keep the boys and girls separate. Also, while we're here in this tank, you can see the Calico Plecos. May or may not be bringing these to the Clash. Depends how many I have. I may just bring some because I do want to try to breed them as well. Uh, here are the uh, Super Red Bristle Nose. I got an order in from Mikey at Mile High Plecos today, actually. Today's Thursday. Um, I ordered them, I don't know, Monday he shipped, Tuesday I got them today. So there are probably a couple in here big enough for me to sell at the Clash, like that one I'd probably sell, but then there's some really small ones that I'm still growing out. So in addition, there are uh, three Red Cobra females in here, really pregnant ones that have dropped a couple different batches of fry. So <clears throat> I'll do that again. I'll, I'll, as the males grow up and start to color up, I'll pull them out, put them in the male guppy tank. These are the, these were the red, white, and blue uh, patriotic guppies, as I call them, red, white, and blue American guppies. They just don't breed true. So these will probably go into the mutt tank. But I, I want to see kind of how they turn out. I mean, these guys are pretty nice looking, but I, they're not really a pure strain. They're not going to breed true. So I don't know what we're going to do. <clears throat> Let's go up top, guys. Here we have the German Half Blacks. Um, I still owe a customer out in California uh, a female, but I only have one female and one male waiting for some fry to, they're looking pretty frisky, so waiting for some fry to drop. I do have another male in another all male guppy tank just in case, but looking for some, uh, some fry, some action. <sighs> Guys, these are the purple mosaic dumbbell ear sulfur heads I got at the last um, North Jersey auction bent backs and all no fry you know what I think no just kidding no fry at first I had them in a tank with um, quarries and people said oh the quarries could be eating them but then I took the quarries out and they weren't then I took the mail out and I still didn't have any fry. So I don't know what's going on with those guys, but I'm thinking this is gonna be a failed project. Another empty tank. <clears throat> um, yeah, I got I, I have some more guppies coming. I think some I think they're blue green Moscows. Uh, they're probably going one of these 10 gallons up top that's empty. I have I have that one that's empty and that one that's empty. These are the half black red. Uh, deltas that go with the girls that we saw behind me. Um, nice, hardy, prolific guppy. Really good looking tail. Uh, there are some really nice, nice colors in there as well. Uh, you know, the black is a really, really deep purple. Um, there's one in the back that's a little faded. Maybe we'll pull that one out, put it in the mutt tank. We'll see. Jaroui Lazuli building up the stock again. These guys were one of my best sellers and I sold out of them. <clears throat> At one point I only had a male left. I don't know what happened to the female. It died, but I got these as fry from uh, Karen Haas. Thank you so much, Karen. Um, and uh, we're just waiting for some fry to drop before we sell them again. So hopefully that will be soon, guys. Empty tank, Cobra Guppies, Plecos, yeah. All right, let's go down low. So this tank is a new strain of guppy. They are on the website. <clears throat> These are the uh, Rainbow Mosaic Dragon. 
Dragon ears. Uh, so dragon ears are not quite Dumbo's, but usually they're black. The ears are black. So they look quite, you know, they look big. See, there's a ton of fry in here already. I got these from a subscriber who lives close to me. She emailed me and said, hey, if you want guppies, you can take them from my pond. And uh, I just want to, you know, a small, uh, a small amount of money. And so I went up there with my boys on a Sunday and basically scooped out her whole pond of guppies. And uh, they're very hardy. They, they did very well in her pond and they're doing well in my tank. They dropped fry within three days, I would say. But look how gorgeous these colors are. I hope you can, hope you can see just how good I mean even the females look nice and you know how I like a, a good looking female look at that guppy that is sweet <clears throat> these guys are on on sale at the website and will probably be at the Keystone Clash um, this tank is the red magenta mosaics and uh, they're sort of a, a mutt that happened that is kind of breeding pretty true for a mutt if you will uh, it's really a red cobra and a uh, half black mix, but they come out magenta. This is the female tank. I'll show you the male tank in a second. Actually, there, it looks like there's a male right there. Yeah, there's a male right there. That might, that one might be a male too. Hmm, we'll see. Lots of frying here um, as well, but these are the, the males. <coughs> so you can see they're kind of half black and red cobra or mosaic mixed, so that's why we call them the red uh, mosaic, red magenta mosaics. And uh, great hardy little guppy, and they do really well breeding, and uh, they look, look at those tails, they look spectacular. It's a good looking guppy. Well, <coughs> here is the failed grass guppy tank. Water's a little cloudy, oof. Water's a little cloudy from overfeeding the uh, four calico plecos in there. I know I have at least one big male. I think he's in the cave, which you probably can't see. Um, I did sort of a little bit of a water change. That's why the water is a little extra cloudy, but you know, I do feed the bejesus out of this tank for the pleco, so. But uh, the story goes here, I got some grass guppy fry, red and blue, on eBay over the winter. They came in, they looked great, no deaths, and uh, they dropped a bunch of fry and everyone was female. <coughs> they dropped fry again, everyone was female. And I had a heater in the tank for the second drop, so that's kind of weird, because my theory is the hotter the water, the more males you get, but that's just my non-scientific approach. Here are the red magenta guppies. This also turned out from a mutt uh, mix that I had and uh, they breed like this and like that so <coughs> pretty nice combination but um, not a big sell on their website I may take them down and just add these to the mutt tank because I can't keep enough mutts in stock you guys buy the heck out of the mutts it's a great deal currently you get six mutts for 20 bucks plus shipping can't beat that there is a I thought that fish was jacked up. Did you see the tail on that thing? It was just bent funny, going after a female. It's a good looking guppy too. Black Moscow tank, mostly females. There are a couple males that I gotta pull out. I have to pull out. There were some shrimp in here from Lucky Schmuck. He sent me some shrimp for free. I haven't been able to find them. I unfortunately think they all died. I, I didn't really do anything. I don't know if that helped or not, but clearly not. Uh, these black Moscow guppies, very hardy, also very prolific. Um, I thought I had fry in here. Maybe they're all hiding in the weeds, but <clears throat> great looking fish, great starter fish if you're looking for something, especially not something without color, but mutt tank. I now have two mutt tanks plus the 40 gallon pond outside. Here's one mutt tank. I have an order for blue mutts that I'll be bringing to the Keystone Clash, so I'm trying uh, to keep blues together, see if we can get some more blues. But uh, like that one's gonna go, and that one's gonna go, and that one's gonna, mm, where are you? That one, yeah, so. Hopefully I can find enough blues to make her happy. <coughs> Here's the other mutt tank. This is mostly, um, I bought some green cobras, and they didn't breed true, so. Here's what the males look like. 
when they were born so something got mixed in there probably before I bought them because they were in this tank alone but I've added some different males like there's a black Moscow I added just for some different color variations we'll see what happens in a couple months what these babies look like these are the albino plecos that are going to the Keystone class for sale um, they're a little more than an inch and there's definitely males and females in there and I think I have about 20 of them that I'm going to be bringing for sale also these <coughs> Japanese <coughs> blue mosaics got these from a local breeder he sent them to me as a gift they drop fry almost right away there's one of the fry this tank is pretty cloudy also I do drop a lot of food in, the, in this tank trying to get them beefy enough to sell one tank with fish down here, there's three tanks, only one has fish. These are yellow cobras. And uh, unfortunately, there's two different yellows. There's the silver body yellow and the gold body yellow. <coughs> so I have both in the same tank, which isn't good. And I have water here, and I don't know what it's from because it doesn't look like it's dripping from here. So I gotta check that out, guys. I don't know what it is, but when this video is over, I'm gonna diagnose the problem. All right, guys, top rack left. Oh, we scared something. Second male guppy tank. This this isn't really uh, a, a tank that I put stuff in um, to sell. These are like males of guppies that I have that I don't want to. If I lose the tank, I still have a male, and hopefully I will have a female as well. <clears throat> but these aren't breeders; they're just living in here as studs. You know, we got uh, we got a lot of the different males in my fish room here. The original. Um, what were they called? American Koi Guppy is in here and uh, it doesn't breed true at all. So, uh, American Purple Deltas. Purple Deltas with a little yellow sometimes. Um, trying to build stock up to sell. There's what one of the males looks like. A little red in his body. Big tails. Dark purple. There's a female. You can see the purple and yellow in her tail as well. <clears throat> Alright guys, these are the Nebula Steel Guppies. I have two really nice males. One of them was born in this tank. One of them I got at an auction. And a bunch of female fry and juvies trying to build this stock up as well. Another empty tank. It's killing me. <clears throat> These are uh, Purple Deltas as well. Trying to build a stock here. Very slow. Every time I have enough, I sell at auctions or I sell to friends. And I don't have enough to put on the website. But not too many males in here either. So... A lot of fry though, there's some fry in the back you can see. Uh, let's see if we can find a male. I know I have two or three males in here, but they must be hiding. Tanaka Maple Leafs, these also I got from Karen Haas again. Um, trying to build up the, the colony. Actually, no I didn't. These had babies, but she has Tanaka Maple Leafs that I think she's gonna sell me at the Keystone Clash. At least I hope so. Karen, if you're watching, that's a hint. Um, but these babies are growing up, so we're going to put these back on the website as well for sale. Another great selling guppy, small, colorful. Guys, these are the half blacks. Um, not a big seller, but they just dropped fry about two weeks ago, growing them out. Really nothing special here. Japanese blues. Uh, we got some reds going on in here, but trying to get the stock level up again. You see there's some reds right there. Good looking fish. <clears throat> um, but I think I need some new new genetics in the tank because I've been pulling a lot of the reds out putting them in the mutt tank and you can see there's some reds that I've started popping in here here's the uh, blue diamond tank I am out of males I sold all my males and uh, what I have now are juveniles and adult females so we're hoping to get some more males you know these blue diamonds sometimes pop red you know red is the um, the dominant color in guppies so if there's any red in the line you'll definitely have guppies with red in them at some point but trying to get these fry to grow up and see if we have any nice blue males but i am looking for more blue diamond stock as well all right fishy folks i think that's it for the fish room tour an extended tour of the disastrous fish room um if you see anything you like definitely hit me up at michaelsfishroom.com or uh, michaelsfishroom at gmail.com and if it's not on the website, I still might be able to sell it to you. There's Chewy, just chilling. He's awesome. <clears throat> I 
Uh, oh, I want to show you this. If you have a lot of plecos to feed, just get a big can of green beans at my local wholesale shop, which is called BJ's. <laughs> um, it was three dollars and fifty cents. It's so cheap that even if I throw half of it away, I made money. All right, that's it for the fish room tour, guys. Hope you liked it, and uh, we'll see you soon. When you buy, let's say you buy some red cobras, I'll grill them out. I'll tip it. Let's say you buy some red cobras, I'll grill them. Wow, that's strike two.